Today's Bible study is titled Jerusalem Council, Conclusion and Action. In Galatians 2 verses 7 to 8, we saw a contrary wise, something contrary and wise, recognized by the twelve after Paul shared with them the gospel of grace that Christ gave him to preach. In fact, the twelve recognized that Paul had received a different gospel directly from the Lord, Romans 16 verse 25, and further, no doubt, recognized that this was likely premised on Israel and Judah's failure to repent, change their mind, regarding Jesus being the promised Messiah. And, as a result, very important, they did not seek to add anything of their kingdom gospel to Paul's grace gospel, Galatians 2 verse 6, which was the point of Paul's going up to Jerusalem to start with. With this understood, we too see the conclusion and action of the Acts 15 and Galatians 2 Jerusalem Council, today. And when there had been much disputing, Peter rose up, and said unto them, Now therefore why tempt ye God, to put O yoke upon the neck of the disciples, which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear? And after they had held their peace, James answered, saying, Men and brethren, hearken unto me. Wherefore my sentence is, that we trouble not them, which from among the Gentiles are turned to God. Acts 15 verses 7 and 10, 13 and 19. And when James, Cephas, and John, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given unto me, they gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship, that we should go unto the heathen, and they unto the circumcision. Only they would that we should remember the poor, the same which I also was forward to do. Galatians 2 verses 9 to 10. Let's analyze this and break it down. First, in Acts 15 verse 7 and 10, we see Peter, the guy with the keys to the kingdom, stating that it was ridiculous to expect Gentiles to seek to obey laws and practices that they, the Jewish kingdom believers, were not able to obey. This makes you think that they had now begun to realize that the new covenant, which provided for Israel and Judah to be able to obey the law, Jeremiah 31 verses 31 to 34, was no longer being offered. Next, we have James, likely James the Lord's half-brother and probable leader of the Jerusalem church, stating that his sentence, a decision publicly and officially declared, even though he was not an apostle, was that we trouble not them, which from among the Gentiles are turned to God, Acts 15 verse 19. This meant that the whole point of the conference, from the standpoint of what the Jewish kingdom believers concluded was agreement with Paul's gospel, in which the Gentile believers were not under Mosaic laws, but under grace, Romans 6 verse 14. Next, we see Paul's historical commentary on what happened as it is noted that once Paul had presented the gospel of the grace of God via the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, Romans 16 verse 25, the 12, plus James, perceived the grace that was given unto me, example, they acknowledged Paul's gospel, while different from what they preached, concluded it was from God, and recognized that it was new revelation they had not previously known. Then, with the Apostle Peter in attendance, example, the one given authority to use the keys of the kingdom of heaven, action was taken by a whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven, Matthew 16 verse 19. And even though the twelve and the little flock had been given instruction from the Lord Jesus to be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Acts 1 verse 8, it was now apparent that the uttermost part of the earth, example, Gentiles, was no longer part of their commission. As a result, the keys of the kingdom were used, losing the kingdom church from going to the Gentiles, and instead binding them to go only to the house of Israel. We see this where Paul states that we should go unto the heathen, and they unto the circumcision. The conclusion reached and action taken declared role the kingdom church would now follow, shepherding the little flock and preaching only to Israel and Judah. Meanwhile, they recognized that Christ had designated Paul as apostle to the Gentiles per the revelation of the mystery. And yet, at Paul's writing of this Galatian epistle, possibly only one to two years later, the kingdom believers were not adhering to the council conclusion regarding Gentiles that we trouble not them and hence this written historical record, and case for grace written by Paul in the Galatian epistle. Believer, recognize what happened in the Acts 15 and Galatians 2, council as it is a game changer. Thank you for listening to this Bible study today.